Yo, let, let me ask you, because you touched on this a little bit earlier. Um, Casanova, two times. First off, shout to Casanova two times. Yeah, shout to Cass. J- just accepted a 15-year plea deal. When, when, when you hear stuff like this, are you surprised? Like, do, do, do you feel like he made the right move in taking Hell them? Yeah, yeah. yeah he, he would have never seen me outside if he did. He would have never seen me outside. He still can come home, cast what, 30 something, 40, he still come home. He'll be my age when he gets out. Shit, you'll you be all right. Hell yeah. 15 feds, you got to do 13 and a half. He'll be home in- I thought, I thought, I thought the feds, you got to do the whole joint. I th- 85, 85, 85%, 85%. So, you know, he'll do 13 and a half and uh, he'll be home in, what's this, 23, 33. He'll be home in 2036. Yeah. He'll still have a lot of life left. You know, it's crazy because, again, a big part of, you know, what, what, what they was using against him was what was on social media. <laughs> so we right back at that again. Like, like so much of the case they built on him was social, social media. media based. It, it, it's, it's insane to me. But, you know, I'm like, you know, he was looking at something like 60 years and it was a fair case. Sometimes know, it's man. better cut your losses, man. That's right. Especially with the feds. <laughs> yeah, but at least, at least you, you, you looking at an end date, right? You could do this. And to your point, yo, he'd come home and that he still got a whole lot of life left in him. That's right. You know, it ain't worth the gamble, but you know, speaking of somebody who gambled, you know, uh, what's his name? Taxstone. He took that to trial and got 35 joints. 35 big ones. 35. Now his situation is a little different. When tax don't get out, you know, he gonna be, you know, he gonna be up there, you know? But um, you never know, man. People get pardoned, people get paroled. I mean, you just never know, man. You just, you just gotta pray for these young brothers, man, and you know, wish for the best. And hopefully everybody else will look at the mistakes that they made and, and, and hopefully they can avoid it. You gotta be able to use people's tragedy as a learning curve for yourself. And that's what I hope people are, are doing right now. Yeah, let, let, what's your thoughts on, because Troy Ave took the stand and his whole thing was, yo, y'all call me a snitch. Dude, say what you want. It, it, it was my man who was murdered. Right. Like, like y'all, y'all, y'all could talk all that street talk and I'm going to do it. Yeah, but he, he, he didn't have to take the stand, though. You know, he didn't have to. He knows that. You know what I'm saying? Um, people are going to say what they want to say. But, you know, he, he didn't have to take. Nobody, one thing about the stand, oh, nobody. And if you do got to take the stand, you know what I'm saying? You could just plead the fifth and t- or just tell them, you know, that you don't know who shot. Shit. I took the stand and, and, and the person who shot me was right there. And they asked me, do you know who shot you? No, I don't. That was it. I don't know. He's not in the court. I don't see him. Where's he at? No? And then shit. You get out the stand and you go home. Right, well, that, that didn't happen in Troy Ave's case. He took the stand. Troy, Troy <laughs> Ave didn't just take the stand, but he, he was very clear on yeah. who, shot, who shot at him, who he shot at. No, nah, that, you know, that, I, don't, I, don't, I don't, yeah, I don't condone that, you know, but hey, we live in a different time now, Press. That, I mean, that's always been, people have been taking Does it even matter forever, today? Though. Huh? Does it even matter today? It, it, it seems like it don't. It seems like it don't. Not like it did back when I came up. My dad told me about don't snitch when I was nine, 10 years old. I never forget we had a conversation, man. He was in the bed. I was sitting at the edge of the bed. And he told me. He told me why, and then it always stuck to me. I mean, right now, six nine, he probably making more money today than he ever, or just as much money as he's ever made. Imagine I, that. 
like really think about it. Every time you see this dude on social media, he got bags and piles of money. Imagine that. I know people myself who's flying him overseas. Shout like, out to the guys that caught his ass in LA Fitness. Shout out to them. <laughs> Yo, Ray, you know I always enjoy your perspective. Uh, you know, I love sitting down with you, kid, and we got to do this more often. But before I close this out, yo, you got a documentary coming up. Like, oh, like, man. Are, man. Are, you shoot, are you shooting a documentary? Like, where, where you at with it? So, I, myself and um, Suge Knight have got, came together to do a documentary on the 95 Source Awards, along with producer and director Man Robinson from Man Robinson Studios. We all, we've been working on this for the last three months. Shout out to Suge, shout out to his wife, uh, Toy. And yeah, we, um, we've got some amazing interviews. I don't wanna say the ones we've got, but we got some heavy hitters. Everybody who was there that night, of course, that night in 1995 was a pivotal moment in just all of hip hop. Yes. Not for the fact that Suge was saying, all in the videos, come to death row, if you, you know what I'm saying? Remember we, the, his famous speech, but also that's where the outcasts in the South had something to say. You know, Andre 3000 was damn near in tears when he was really trying to let the world know that the South is, is really, you know what I'm saying, entering this hip hop thing in a major way. It had been New York for so long and then LA made its mark, but Andre kind of, epitomized what the South was doing at that time. And it, it, it was the night that changed hip hop forever. Um, I can tell you that we've got some amazing stories. We got all heavy hitters that were there that night. You know, we're still doing our interviews. We still got a, about a good month to go of interviews. And then we got to go into the editing bay. Um, I'm there every step of the way. It's, 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 it's my first major project. Um, I'm going to be doing my life story, but I want to do this first and just kind of pinpoint that night and focus on that night and everybody's feeling around that night. And man, I'm just, I'm, I'm excited, man. I, this is my first executive production, you know, since the Source Awards. And, you know, it's, 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 it's going to be amazing, man. We've been working hard on it, man, for real. How, how did you and Shook connect? Um, you know, I've known Shook for a while. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, uh, you know, uh, he, uh, he, he called me, we talked, and you know, we felt like this was something that had to be told. And the stories, I'm telling you, when you hear this, that night was bananas. People don't know all the drama and all the crazy shit that happened that night and how, what could have happened and what didn't happen and what happened after the awards and what happened before the awards and what led up to it. You know, Pac was locked up. He he was at the, at the 94 one. He was out on bail and he rushed the stage, grabbed the mic from, from Q Tip. Remember, yep, you know, Q Tip yep, was yep. messing with Jan Remember, Q Tip was messing with Q Tip was messing with Janet, you know what I'm saying? And he was messing with Janet. So, you know, um, yeah, man. Um, it's gonna be an amazing project. And um, I'm putting all my I'm, I'm putting everything into it. You know? I'm uh, you know, I'm putting I'm putting so I'm say, putting say, my so all take 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 your time, say that, yeah, say no, that no, again. No, no. So I'm putting you know, it's an amazing project and I'm putting my all into it. And I just, you know, I'm really proud of, of the work we've done so far, but it's going to be amazing. And we're trying to get it done before this year is out because of course it's the 50th year in hip hop. So yeah, man. I also got two movies. One just dropped called On The Run on Tubi, my best acting role. And I got this other one that is, I'm, I'm, I'm starring in it, that's gonna be dropping in a couple of months and it's like a 50 shades of gray type thing. And man, you know, I, I, this, this acting thing I'm taking to a next level. When you watch Tubi tonight, look at, pull up on DA, on the run. It's my biggest role yet. And yeah, man, I'm, you know, this acting thing, this is, this is where I'm going with it. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, doing, really, I'm doing really well. Yo, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna check that out tonight. I'm gonna text you offline about it. Please do. Please do I'm, I'm and check it. Let me and let me know what you think, please. Done deal. All right, kid. Wait, was you at the you got... 95 Source Awards? Was, was, was you there? No, I didn't go. I didn't go. And I was pissed. I was Man. not there. Yeah, we, we're gonna be we're gonna be, be interviewing. We're actually gonna be interviewing Ed Lover at the end of this week and Peter Thomas, but we've gotten I don't even want to go through the list, but we've got some real major guys, man. You know, shout out to also Gip, Big Gip Goody been helping us too. But um, yeah, man, and uh, you know, we're just, we're excited, man. We're excited. 
I'm looking forward to it, brother. I know you got to run up out of here. And, yeah, and man, we got about another hour and a half, two hours, and it's done. We'll take baby girl down here. I got my blunt rolled up. We got some um some tequila. I'm making some jerk, jerk lamb chops. Just a real chill Monday evening, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, it, it, I'll be I'll be 58 in two weeks, man. I'm just really trying to enjoy these next couple of weeks, man. My brother, we'll do it again soon. Go enjoy yourself, kid. Love you, Prez, man. Love you, man. I'll see you soon, Love brother. you, my brother. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.